right? Um, you know, uh, one of the things that we're doing specific, you know, in, in, in UAVs is it's no longer about just safety spectrum, right? It's more about how do we take the combined communications capabilities and be able to come to a more performance-based standard versus more of a regulated uh, space standard, which really limits or constrains what your technical solutions can be. Um, even in commercial aviation, uh, there's a new concept uh, that was put out by both um, Airbus, Boeing, and uh, EASA and FA around this thing called this concept called hyperconnectivity, where it's around how can we actually get combined communications and focus more on the performance versus the um, uh, the regulations around the technology itself and really focus on performance and security, right? How do we also make sure it's safe, secure, and so on and so forth. And so with those combined concepts, business aviation is actually kind of a, a great market for that because the aircraft are much smaller. They yeah. And ironically, we lose our communications as we're talking about comms. So uh, too, too funny. Uh, but we were talking about the business aviation but crowd. Our, there we go. Yeah, okay, he's back. He's back. Yeah. All right, so you're saying the aircraft are smaller and it kind of lends itself to this kind of combined communication. Yeah, so the, the, the combined communications, right, is, you know, in the business market, you know, unlike uh, commercial aviation where the aircraft are bigger, right, where – uh, you've got more volume of people to get that uh, higher demand. Business communications, they they want they're they're kind of that blend between how can I take the concepts in the drones where they're taking all the communications, not those that have just been certified in a regulatory space, but the combined communications, uh, and getting that to fit within these uh, business jet platforms uh, is kind of a big deal right now. I know for us. Uh, we're we're putting together solutions where we're bonding multiple L band channels to give the broader bandwidth that you know act that provide that broadband band service uh, to still allow for not just safety communications that are used for pilot controller, but also for you know the needs of passengers that are on the aircraft and stuff like that. In addition to you know our the broadband internet solutions like K band uh, that are used for those kinds of things there. So it's coming up. You know our partners, uh, our customers, and us we're working together to come up with what are those you know, how can we better serve that market space as both the regulatory environment and the technologies themselves uh, are changing or can be used differently? And so it's leading to some very innovative ways of, of how we uh, implement this uh, across our different uh, aviation platforms and quite honestly in some of our other platforms, right? Um, I think one of the things uh, that we have for, for like the smaller terminal platforms that we have is you know as we're doing this for aviation as we're doing this for uav platforms is well wait a minute if i can do this in aviation uh, how could i take that same platform uh and put it and use it in something like uh agriculture or some of these other platforms where you know i can create you know cheaper platforms if i don't do the aviation certification if i don't do you know some of these other things how can we create these other market space that works and so it's uh it's to me, it's a, it's quite an exciting time because there's a lot of opportunities and uh, and there's a lot of uh, change going on. And to me, I like change to so kind of see where we can kind of lead the future. 